In honor of 400 subscribers, I am making the White Screen of Death collection updated and remastered. Let's get started. First up, the silent White Screen of Death. Starting off with ET 1988 VHS, this one has a about a minute long White Screen of Death, as well as a moaning sound at the end. Fiftieth week of nineteen eighty-eight. Next is Cary Grant's twin theater production of His Girl Friday and Penny Serenade, nineteen eighty-seven VHS. This one has an extremely rare faded silent white screen of death for about a little under ten seconds, and there's no print data we can record on this tape. Ah, oh, crap. Now we get to the ones with the clicking tone. Starting off with War of the Monster Trucks 1986 VHS. This one actually is a normal pitched white screen of death, but then it switches to a clicking tone. No print data weakens your code. Next up is Frosty the Snowman 1993 VHS. This one has a clicking tone white screen of death at the end for about two minutes. It's a very long white screen of death. 35th week of 1993. Next up, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, 1983 VHS. Same copy with the shifting, or sh not shifting, shuffling color slash black and white bars. Has a about a 50 second white, clicking tone white screen of death. 35th week of 1993. It's also a little bit damaged with the white screen of death. Now we get to the normal 1000 HZ white screen of death tapes. First one, Reality Bites, 1996 VHS. This one has a white screen of death at the end for about a minute. Oh, this is actually a 1995 VHS. That's my bad. Uh, the sixth week of 1995. Next, Top Gun 1987 VHS. This one has a white screen of death at the end for about five minutes. And it also has... No, it has a black screen at the end, but no moaning sound. 12th week of 1987. Next, Golden Book Step Ahead video, Get Ready for Math, 1986 VHS. This one has a minute-long white screen of death at the end, as well as a moaning sound. No print data, we can jerk code. Next, A Charlie Brown Christmas, 2002 VHS. This is, um, has a white screen of death at the end for about two brief seconds. 28th week of 2002. This is my only clamshell tape to have the white screen of death. Next, A Kiss for Little Bear, 1999 VHS. 51st week of 1999. Um... Next, St. Almost Fire, 1987 VHS. This one has a white screen of death at the end for about 30 seconds. And it's one of the book boxes, too, as you can see. It's kind of hard to get out, though. I got it. There's a crack right here in the lens, but the tape still plays fine. 12th week of 1987. I'm going to just set this off to the side here. Next, Fletch, 1988 VHS. This one is a white screen of death at the end for about five minutes, as well as a um, hi-fi and mono moaning sound. Six week of 1988. Next up, Breakfast at Tiffany's 1997 VHS. This one has a very rare half-second white screen of death. Seventh week of 1997. Next up, Goodnight Little Bear 1998 VHS. And, um, some, some pen ink got, um, loose all over the table, and, um, apparently it got stained on this. This is actually a 1999 reprint. The 35th week of 1999. 
Next up, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown 1994-1995 reprint VHS. Got this at Goodwill back in uh, early September of 2020. This one has a um, white screen of death for about a minute, static, and then moaning sound. The 34th week of 1995. Next up, Little Bear Family Tales 1997 VHS. This is actually a 1998 reprint, by the way. This was printed on the 36th week of 1998. And then, Airplane 1989 VHS. This one has a white screen of death at the end for about a minute. And that's just blank space for the rest of the tape. The 23rd week of 1989... And now we're on to our one and only high-pitched white screen of death tape, Nick and Noel 1995 VHS. Probably one of the rarest tapes in my collection, due to the fact it has a very strange ending. 30-second high-pitched white screen of death, and then static, and then moaning sound. 39th week of 1995. Alright, and that is my White Screen of Death Collection Remastered. Now, before I go, um, I have a question to ask you guys. Um, so, I had originally thought of making a Gabriel Dropout Homemade VHS sometime back in mid-September. But, I have to get the DVDs for it, and um, it's only in Japanese dubs. So, I can get it off of Amazon, but I somehow have to figure out how to do that without my mom knowing. Um, but basically... I don't know if that's going to work out, but um, if it does, I will let you guys know. If not, I'll probably just resort to like making a Pokemon homemade VHS or whatever I can deal with. I'll see how it goes. I'll just give it some time. I also have to get some blank tapes and figure out how to get um, DVD to VHS. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this White Screen of Death collection remastered, and I'll see you in the next video.